All right, good morning, guys. Um, I was sitting here going through my binder, and I've, if you guys follow me, you guys know I'm a huge list maker. I make lists to do housework. I do lists to go shopping. I do lists for birthday parties, any kind of events, anything like that. I just like to make lists. So I have different binders. I have one that's specifically for a budget. And I write all my budget stuff in there. And then I have this binder here for recipes. So I figured I had to add a couple recipes in here. I might as well bring you guys along. And I even have a frugal book right here. Which has a whole bunch of stuff in it. But I will do that on another video. Right now I'm going to show you guys my recipe binder. So this is just a binder that my son had at school one year, and it just has a pocket here. He's not using it anymore. All right, so like I was saying, this is a binder that my son had at school over here. There's a little zip pocket, and you can shove things in there, and then there's little places here for, like, filing stuff. I haven't used that yet, but I thought that was a pretty neat idea. I just needed one with big rings on it because I have a lot of recipes. Um, so basically the way that I have my recipes organized here is, okay, it says recipes. And then here is the different recipe sections that I have, uh, <clears throat> I have to add to it and whatnot, but I'll go through, I'm going to go through them anyways. So uh, a lot of this was from my old binder and I decided it, that one was falling apart. I needed to make a new one, so I grabbed this binder, and that is what I did. My fingers look funky on that green. So we're going to start with breakfast, and the reason that I had these this duct tape here was because the binder that I was using, uh, those little, I don't even have them in here, but sometimes you can get them, it says like A, B, C, D, all that. Those, uh, because I have these protective uh, pieces over the paper, they do not come out all the way, so I decided to be able to find things quickly, I can just add this and I'll know that each each piece of tape is a different section. It used to have the names written on it. You can see a little bit, but not really. You can just make out that there was something there. Anyways, the first one is breakfast. Now, what I did here is I wrote out a list of breakfast ideas, things that our family likes to eat. Uh, that's old-fashioned pancakes, grilled cheese, egg quiche, toast with eggs, homemade hash browns, homemade egg McMuffins. You can make them on English muffins or on toast. Scrambled eggs, cereal, French toast. You know, your typical, I don't know, your bread ham and eggs in a muffin tin. Uh, banana bread, oatmeal, ham, hash, bacon, eggs, and toast. Bacon cheese, uh, bacon cheese, ham and cheese, grilled cheese, cinnamon buns. Uh, you can cut the green pepper and make it the omelet inside, homemade waffles, fruit salad with yogurt, uh, breakfast burritos, melted cheese over fried mushrooms, that's something that we were doing for a long time. Uh, it's just something we kind of threw together and it's just awesome. Boiled eggs and toast, uh, breakfast quesadillas, omelets with pan fries, oatmeal, breakfast muffins, and obviously I have waffles written twice, but... So that's that. Uh, here is just a my my recipe for my old fashioned pancakes. Here is the recipe for the oatmeal breakfast muffins, and this is the recipe for homemade waffles. So obviously, you know, when it comes to like French toast, I know how to make that, so I don't have to write down a recipe for that. Same with like scrambled eggs and stuff like that. Certain things I just don't need a recipe for. Now here I have desserts, and same thing, I have a list of the different desserts. Uh, well, when it comes to breakfast, because I don't need so many uh, recipes, that's just more like ideas, whereas here it's really, these are all the recipes that I have uh, in the following pages. All right, sorry about that. Every couple of minutes my son runs in and wants something or asks me a question, so I just, I stop the camera. Anyways. Um, like here there's 32 different uh, recipes I got gingerbread I got sugar cookies banana bread muffins 
no bake apple pie bars, chewy chocolate chip cookies, uh, chocolate frogs, banana bread, chocolate more chocolate chip cookies just made a different way, cheesecakes, uh, oatmeal cookies, and these are all recipes I've tried. Delicious brown sugar fudge, blueberry pie filling, upside down banana cake, cinnamon buns, carrot muffins, simple berry pie filling, uh, lemon meringue pie, I just made that the other day. I didn't make the pie, I just made the lemon meringue and I made it different so I want to have to add in another recipe to that. I know it's very hard to see because it's written in pencil. Uh, pumpkin pie, crunch and munch, healthy and I'll bake peanut butter oat bars, flourless oat banana mix, deluxe lemon bars, oatmeal muffins, chewy chocolate squares, cream cheese frosting, peanut butter brownies. I tried those. I wasn't really crazy about them so I don't know if I'll make those again or if I'll pull that recipe out. Uh, chocolate chip blonde diesels are awesome. Jam crumb bars, uh, easy granola bars. I made those and they are delicious. Five ingredient granola, blueberry oatmeal bites, uh, blueberry oat bites, apple cinnamon oatmeal cups. I had waffles written there, but obviously I'm gonna have to add in my waffle recipe. I got raw brownies, mini peanut butter cups, vanilla depression cake. Although it's not a th it's got quite a bit of ingredients in it and then a fried mush which that's not really a dessert but I don't know I suppose if you put stuff over it it could be a dessert but that was just kind of written there so those are you know if I want to make a dessert or something I can just go through there pull something out or if I find something else and I have the recipe for it I just add it in and I'll just add it into this plastic paper and put it into my binder. Now I got main meals. Here I do not have a list. Oh yes I do. Right here. This is a list of my main meals. Things that we've eaten that we like. Again this is all stuff that we like. Uh, I don't know. Yeah okay there's chicken balls. We love chicken balls. Uh, a random mixture, just uh, shredded carrots, cabbage, mushrooms, bean sprouts, and chicken broth. Skillet chicken. Uh, homemade hamburger helper. This is my pizza crust that I use. It is a yeast-free pizza crust. Dumplings. Chicken Alfredo. Turkey Tetrazzini. Uh, pasta and white sauce. Peggy's marinated carrots. These are the my mom's. Uh, she makes marinated carrots, and this is how she makes them. So I just wrote Peggy's marinated carrots. Uh, Italian mac and cheese, homemade donairs, which I am due to make these because I've been craving donairs lately. Uh, some calzones, egg rolls, shepherd's pie. Like again, I know how to make shepherd's pie, so I don't even know why I have that there. Creamy bacon and mushroom chicken, onion ring batter, Chinese baked Chinese rice. That was my cousin's ex girlfriend's recipe. It was really good, so I, she gave me the recipe and I wrote that down. Uh, yummy oven rice, which is basically the same thing. Potato pancakes. We made that one time and they were amazing. Cheesy hash browns. Pe pepper poppers. I. I think I've made this before, I'm not quite sure. Uh, Kung Pao chicken, creamy chicken and rice soup, Southwest chicken skillet, cheesy and creamy one pot mac and cheese. This is amazing. <clears throat> Pasta, something. Taco salad, Salisbury steaks. I know how to make these. I just wrote it down because we love it so much. Chicken tater tot casserole. This was a recipe that I pulled offline and I want to give it a try. I know we'll like it. I like all the, the ingredients so I know I will like that. And it looked delicious. Quick and easy chili. 
This is not how I made my chili the other day. This was a recipe I pulled uh, out of my mom's cookbook, one of my mom's cookbooks that she makes all the time. But uh, it's pretty well all the same type of stuff in there. I got poor man's meal, which is just basically onions, potatoes, and sausages, or hot dogs if you want to go even cheaper. Chicken, broccoli, Alfredo bake. We got cheesy uh, cheddar, broccoli, egg muffins, and chicken skewers. I know how to make chicken skewers. It's just I'm sorry if I'm whipping through these real quick. I just don't want this video to be too too long. And then here I got meats. Now when it comes to meats, it's a little bit different. The the recipes are kind of a little bit different. Here for like the uh, index card, I guess you could say, I've got over 50 just chicken dinners, fish dinners, pork chops, beef, turkey, tuna, sausages, bologna, whatever kind of meat we eat. Like, uh, I could probably put pork roast on there, would be another one. Uh, so I just went through and there's chicken parmesan, chicken fajitas, baked chicken with mashed potatoes and veggies, hot chicken sandwiches, chicken pizza, chicken alfredo, chicken casserole, chicken burgers, chicken and barley soup, ranch chicken, chicken enchiladas, chicken quesadillas, club sandwiches, Italian chicken, chicken stew, chicken mustard, honey, and vinegar. That's really good. That uh, That's just more or less, you'd have to pair it with something, but. Uh, chicken wraps, <clears throat> tornadoes, rice and salad, chicken burritos, uh, chicken egg rolls, stuffed chicken, chicken kebabs, teriyaki chicken, chicken and dry garlic sauce, stir fry, chicken pot pies, chicken fried rice, homemade chicken fingers or chicken nuggets, chicken salad, chicken salad sandwiches, sesame chicken over rice, chicken macaroni salad, lemon chicken, chicken thighs and cabbage, chicken subs, Chicken noodle soup, chicken noodle casserole, honey mustard chicken, which is basically like that that other recipe that I just said with the honey and the mustard. And, uh, chicken, cabbage, potatoes all fried together. Some of these might be repeats. Chicken balls and rice, obviously that's a repeat. Chicken tacos, cordon bleu. Breaded chicken, chicken balls. Oh my god, how many times do I have chicken balls written there? Barbecue chicken, chicken and rice, chicken skillet, chicken hash, chicken broccoli and rice. Good lord. I'm going to have to obviously go through these, but you get the idea. It's all things that you can make with chicken. There's a thousand more things that you can do with chicken. Here I have fish, uh, tuna sandwiches, tuna salad, salmon or sole with potatoes, because salmon and sole are, and tuna obviously, are kind of like the only fish that we eat in here. Sometimes we eat shrimp. Uh, if it's a good price and I bought shrimp a couple months ago in bags they were six something a bag I had bought two and I still have a bag that have some in it once in a while I'll pull that out and have it with rice it's really good uh, and then tuna melts I called it garluna that's what I made up so I know that nobody else has this out there it's just basically some garlic uh, little garlic toast with um, like little garlic toast and you put some tuna on and some cheese and melt it and it's really good so and then different things that you can make with pork chops pork chops and rice pork chops and mushroom soup with rice pork chops and mashed potatoes pork chops fries and coleslaw barbecue pork chops pork chops chicken and alfredo shake and bake you can make them fried it's just kind of like ideas of different ways to make the pork chops or different things to eat them with uh, I have a bunch of beef recipes uh, ground beef, you can make tacos, pizza, meatballs, and spaghetti, sweet and sour meatballs, meatball subs, chili, burgers, spaghetti sauce, sloppy joe, shepherd's pie, rice hamburger with dry garlic sauce, lasagna roll-ups, burritos, lasagna, uh, like I said, some of these might be repeats, meatloaf, potato hash, nachos and cheese, taco salad, taco rice, macaroni, spaghetti, beef, mushroom, stroganoff, Salisbury steaks, Chinese macaroni, taco, lettuce wraps, homemade donairs, goulash, one pot spaghetti, again spaghetti, one pot spaghetti, uh, beef stew, beef roast, meatballs and gravy, and hamburger helper, and there is more. I just haven't updated it. This is one we're probably going to use within the next uh, 
two weeks because I plan on making a turkey. I will probably take my turkey out and make it next weekend, I think. I'll take it out maybe the Friday or the Thursday night or something like that and cook that up next Saturday. Uh, the weekend kind of flew by this weekend. so uh, And then, of course, when you make a turkey, there's always lots of leftovers. So you can make, obviously, your turkey meal with the potatoes and the veggies and the fixings. You can make wraps, quesadillas, fajitas. Anything you can make with chicken, you can make with turkey. You know, like it's... I'm not going to just name them off, but here's the list if you guys want to pause it. Same with tuna. I don't know why I have tuna, because I had tuna under the fish over there. I really need to update this. Uh, these are different things that you can make with sausages. Again, you guys can pause it if you want to read the list. I just want to kind of get through this. And then bologna. But I'm going to take a day and really just go through what I have and fix that up. Because I have a lot more uh, recipes to add. Here I have side dishes. And I just, this is just one page. It's just a different list of different side dishes. You can have salad, fries, rice, potatoes, coleslaw, vegetables, egg rolls, stuffing, soup. I could add more to the list. If you guys have any things to add to any of these lists, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will add them if it is something that our family enjoys. Crock pot. I don't use my crock pot as often as I would like. I do uh, use it sometimes though and I definitely need to add more recipes to this especially. I want to make some of those dump and go uh, freezer meals for the crock pot and that's something that I'm going to have to add to the list. I only have three so far. I got crock pot, freezer meals, cheesy chicken over rice, and savory crock pot, crock pot chicken. Uh, these are different crock pot meals that you could like, kind of like dump and go type of ordeal. And that is the cheesy chicken over rice. And don't mind my writing on some of it. Sometimes I just jot it down real fast. This is the savory crock pot chicken freezer meals. Uh, I probably haven't updated this, but this is like my favorite way to cook right now. Freezer meals all the way. Uh, they're quick. They're convenient. It's uh, You take one day, you bake everything, you cook everything, you put it in the freezer, you've got that one big cleanup, and then it's a breeze after that. You're not spending your nights doing dishes cleaning up and all that and racking your brain what to make so I definitely need to up my list I have a list of all different freezer meals and stuff like that but I think it's in my other binder uh, these are make ahead meals as well same thing I make pancakes for the freezer I make breakfast sandwiches for the freezer I make all kinds of stuff Gluten-free, obviously, like at the beginning of the, the this binder is what I use the most. This is kind of, like we, Jay is gluten-free, so he has an allergy to wheat, so we have to, most meals I make, I try to make them gluten-free, and if not, he just kind of makes his own thing, because uh, it is hard to try to, but there are things, like you'd have to buy the macaroni, you'd have to buy the gravy, the lasagna, noodles, a lot of chips are gluten-free, some candies gluten-free, you have to get gluten-free uh, flour, potato starch, but corn starch is gluten-free also. But uh, here I'm going to start making a list of meals because if you take and you have uh, chicken for instance and potatoes and vegetables, that is a gluten-free meal as long as you watch what you put on the chicken, as long as you know if you, you're just putting spices then it's gluten-free, uh, as long as there's no wheat or whatever in it. That, it's a, it's a gluten free meal. It doesn't have to be more complicated than that. This is the condiment section. Uh, I just have different condiments that we use ketchup, soy sauce, uh, mayonnaise, mustard, barbecue sauce, jam, cheese whiz, peanut butter, French salad dressing, Italian dressing. This is my barbecue sauce. I made it the other day. Uh, with the ribs. I don't know if this was the recipe that I followed. I kind of do my own thing because I made it so often, but this is just the recipe. I have a pizza surprise dip. A lot of people make these at parties, and I'm not necessarily a fan of it, but 
Jay and Riley like it. So, uh, homemade barbecue sauce. Again, this is probably the recipe that I used the other day. I don't know why I have two of them. I'd have to go through and see. And here are easy homemade condiments, some ranch sauce, some Big Mac sauce, and honey mustard. Just so you don't have to go out and buy it, all that stuff. And I bought the Big Mac sauce and I wasn't a fan of it, so it tastes better where McDonald's puts it on their burgers. And here are some different salads. Uh, you can make a chicken Caesar salad, California spaghetti salad, creamy potato salad. And I just have the recipes for those, just in case, I well, chicken salad, I know how to make that, but like the California spaghetti salad is right there. I've tried that before and it's really good. Here's some family favorites. Again, all this stuff has to be updated. We love to eat club sandwiches, tins and chicken fingers, uh, burgers and homemade fries, pizza, lasagna, homemade hash browns. These are different casseroles. I'll, I said it before, I'll say it again. Everything needs to be updated. Uh, I got recipe for a turkey casserole, cheesy chicken casserole, cheeseburger casserole. Here's the breads and the rolls. I just have bannock bread and classic white bread recipe. I can make buns and stuff. I gotta add all that. These are the homemade spices. This section is fairly new. I had all this written down. These are all the, the things that I'm gonna read off here. I've got how to make taco seasoning, Chill, uh, curry powder, Italian seasoning, Rage and Cajun seasoning, homemade ranch dressing, lemon pepper seasoning, fajita seasoning, and these are good because you don't have to go to the store and buy them if you have everything. Seasoned salt, French onion soup mix, chili seasoning, herb de Provence. And that's it for that. And then here I have uses for. Uh, real quick, like a, this is always like the index of what we're about to read. But these are different foil dinner ideas. Just put them in foil and stick them in the oven or over a campfire. These are different uh, subs that you could make. It's kind of like a one, okay, so I got subs and then I wrote all kinds of different subs that you can make. What can you do with homemade spaghetti sauce? You can make spaghetti and meatballs, lasagna, pizza, macaroni, meatballs, meatball subs, chicken parmesan, lasagna roll-ups, pasta and sauce, which would be spaghetti. Uh, homemade broths. You can make soups and stews, rice, all that stuff. Here I got homemade barbecue sauce, what you can do with it. Different sandwiches that you can eat. Different ways to make eggs. Uh, different things that you can put into your rice just so you're not having plain white rice every night or whenever you guys have rice. These are different different soups, different salads, excuse me, uh, ways to use up peppers, different ways to make potatoes, different things that you can use lettuce for, mushrooms, different ways to use up bread. You can obviously make sandwiches, grilled cheese, toast, French toast, bread pudding, croutons. Uh, you can use it as a bun if you don't have hamburger buns and you want hamburgers or hot dogs. And that is it. I have a couple of these extra pieces of paper left. And that is it. Now I went through, I had a couple recipes on my computer that I just jotted down in this book, which I'm going to have to recopy and put into my uh binder here but they're most they're all chicken all chicken recipes so I'm gonna go through and maybe I'll just rip them all out and since they have the little holes which I don't even need the holes anyways I just need these pieces of pa these uh, paper protectors so this video is kind of a little bit long just to explain my binder but that is my recipe binder like I said I'm always adding to it I use this often, and instead of having a thousand cookbooks laying around, um, what I did do was the recipe, uh, the the 
cookbooks that I did had I went through and the recipes that looked interesting or that I liked I tried them this was a long time ago and I got rid of all my cookbooks so I didn't have all these cookbooks laying around and I kind of made my own little cookbook so to speak so everything that I use or need is in here if I want to make a recipe I just open it and because it's got these protective pieces of paper if I drop something I can just wipe it right off and I bring this into the kitchen with me and I cook whatever I need to cook so that is my little recipe binder I highly uh, suggest you guys make yourselves one because it comes in handy and ditch those cookbooks you don't need a thousand cookbooks laying around cluttering up your your home and space and stuff like that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it wasn't too boring for you if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you guys have any uh, suggestions or uh, meals or whatever that I could add to these, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I will take them into consideration. Like I said, if it's something that the family likes, I will definitely give it a try or write it down. Or there might be things that I've forgotten uh, that I will definitely check out. So thanks so much for watching and have a great Sunday.